think that is dead center. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring. Hopefully this doesn't take me too long tonight because <laughs> I've taken um, not only steroids but also a Flexoril. <laughs> and I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay awake. I already had all of this prepped to do and I kind of need to get going on things so I have enough stuff for the Christmas show in December. So that's why we're pushing ourselves a little bit. This is the week after the Albert Hash Festival and my booth stuff is still in the car because I have a uh, sacroiliitis, uh, which is an inflammation of the sacral, I'm probably saying it wrong, uh, but the sacral joint in the hip. And it's so bad that it's wrapping around to the front of my my hip so if you've ever had sciatica it's the top of the sciatica pain but instead of going down your leg it goes around your hip <laughs> it's not as bad as i've had before i've had it where it went around both sides of the hip and i really couldn't walk then i could barely drive to the doctor that day um but at any rate <laughs> That's what's going on with me. There is twisting and that sort of stuff with doing the acrylic pouring. So if you hear me grunt at all, I probably grunted a little bit in the last video, but I might be able to cut it all out. <laughs> but if you hear it, that's what's going on. Also, you can hear that my voice is a little hoarse. That's, I always blame it on fibro, even though dad says it's not related, but that's all right. We'll still blame it on fibro. Um, I'm, I'm um, tired, which is why my voice is like this. All right. I've cleaned off the mat. We've saved the skin. I thought it was going to be too thin, and it might still be too thin, but um, we saved the pretty green skin that I had last time. Now I've got it uncentered. almost and I also cleaned this off so it's got new cling wrap on it so I don't have a little grippy thing to spin <laughs> a drip of paint we're going to try the squares again last night I was not having very much success with the squares I was trying to do one of Heather Smith's uh, patterns and it just didn't work but it did work on the hexagons but we're going to try a ring pour on the square I'm doing the four colors again the sap green from artist loft brilliant green from Amsterdam brilliant red from artist loft and then metallic silver from Amsterdam so we're going to try the uh, ring pour I might do it more as a cloud pour. I'm not positive. I don't know. We'll we'll have to play it by ear. We'll try the we'll try the um not a cloud pour. I don't have any satin paint. Um but a straight wiggle pour. <laughs> we'll call it that, a straight wiggle pour. At any rate, I've got my split cup. So we're going to go ahead and fill it up. And then we'll start pouring. My other issue is I do it with my left hand so that you guys can see because the camera is on my right side. And I might need to just do my right hand instead. I am ambi, but left hand is better at some things than the right hand and vice versa. So we'll see. <laughs> Actually, change of plans. Since the squares are the biggest of the thing, well, my circle is the same dimension as the square, but I've got more space with the square. So I'm actually going to try a Nautilus pour. I didn't put any paint down initially. Should we do that? Yeah, because it's such a small space, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. 
My silver isn't showing very much. I like that. I like that. It's not quite a Nautilus pour, but it's pretty enough. Let's do a little kiss. Do I have something small enough though? I'm going to use one of my ornament balls that I was going to redo and just have never gotten to it. That is going to be one of the projects though. There we go. That looks much better. Let's spin it one more time, just a little bit, just to thin it out. Very pretty. Let's go ahead and move it to the drying rack. All right. Next. Can't quite get it center. I think that's as close as I'm going to get. <laughs> lifted that up a little bit when I did that. It's not quite all covered. I see a white spot. Right there. Take a little paint to help it along. There's a white spot there. Okay, we're all covered. Let's spin a little more. I'll go ahead and lift the strainer off. Oh, didn't get enough in the middle though. Hopefully we can fix it this way. Whoops. There we go. Let's flatten it out a little. All right. Let's move it to the drying rack. Forgot what I was doing. <laughs> In the middle. Get it that way a little bit. There we go. I'm going to put a dollop of green down just to make sure we get the middle again this time. I'm 
get this one just a tad. And I think that's as close as we're going to get. Fan it out. Accidentally lifted that one up too. That's why I need my little drip. So I'm not lifting the spinner up. Let's spin it. Actually, let's tap the middle, then we'll spin it. really liking these. Uh, I need to get my voice back. All right, last one. It's kind of middle. Well, let's put a little red in the middle this time, especially since it's transparent. That green showed just a little too much when I did the kiss. All right. Where's my silver? There it is. I didn't lift it up that time. <laughs> Small steps, right? Spin it out just to flatten it a bit. Oh, wait, let me cover up my spots. Okay, now flatten it out a little bit. These are pretty colors, too. Unfortunately, I plan on putting another... <laughs> Another round of colors on top. They dry too thin anyhow, but...
see how all those dry. But I'm liking them a lot. You know what's funny is things that are my favorite, like that one heart that I did an accidental cloud pour on, uh, for those of you that saw that one, is my absolute favorite heart I've ever done. And you know it still has not sold? Can you believe that? And then stuff that I think will never sell does. Like my gnomes. Um, I ha haven't had them in the shop, to be fair. But they didn't sell at the first um, music festival that I did. But this last one I did, they did sell. I was shocked. You just never know. Okay, here is the last one I did. Not quite a Nautilus pour, but it still worked very well. Keeping the pattern interesting. That's the third one. The second one. And the first one. Here's a dry picture. All right, now to the next one. Okay, we are ready for our next coasters. These are the hexagon coasters. Move this way a little bit. I think that's as close as we're going to get. All right. What we are going to do, and we're not going to see the results until it's dry, but we're going to do something similar to that. This is the Amsterdam Pearl Red. Just to give you an idea of what the outcome should look like. And the reason why I showed you that is because all three of the pearl colors that I'm using of Amsterdam look white. So it's going to look kind of boring to you <laughs> until it dries. Then I'm hoping it wows. I'm also going to use my Artist Loft Mars Black. I think... The way we're going to do this, I'll be able to use the black without it eating the colors. We shall see. I need to use this up, which is why I want to try to find something that it will work on. And my hip is starting to really kill me. So <laughs> let's hope this works and I get it done fast. Okay, I think we got it all. We have to use black with the Amsterdam pearls because that's how they, well, we don't have to use black, but we have to use something dark because that's the best way that they show up. Here we go. So, the three pearl colors that we're doing are Amsterdam Pearl Red, Amsterdam Pearl Green, and Amsterdam Pearl Violet. I don't have a lot of the red left, <clears throat> and I wasn't going to use it initially, but I think it will work well. I'm going to put the red down the middle. And hopefully I have enough for all four. And sorry, you're not going to be able to see this as I pour it. Just 
there's the red. Let's do green beside that. I'm not good with doing straight lines out of the cups. And let's do the violet on the outside. Let's try our pattern. It is kind of eating it a little bit, isn't it? Spin that out. I don't think it's going to work as well as I'd hoped. All right, let me scrape this. You can see the colors right there. they'll really show once it's dry. I think I've got enough off. Same thing. This is Amsterdam Oxide Black. Still got a little bit right there to get it over. We pretty much got it that time. Okay. Let me clean my fingers off. Same thing. Almost dumped my green. Violet. And I'm going to put some green on the outside. Looks like a zebra right now, doesn't it?
oops, got a little wiggly. Let's spin this out. That just helps get the clumps off the edge. Ooh, you can kind of see some of the colors too. Can't wait till that dries. I think it's going to look awesome. Let me torch one more time. I think we're going to love these. And I had said in the last one, I didn't know if these were ceramic or porcelain. And that might be the same thing. I'll have to look and see what the components are of each. Uh, but the box said ceramic. Okay. Amsterdam Oxide Black. I think all of the corners are covered. Yes. I tell you what, I had green all over my PJs last night. <laughs> had to throw them in the washer. It all, most of it came out. As long as it doesn't dry stiff on the clothes, it's not so bad. It's when you get the chunks that have dried, they won't come out at all. And then it makes your top or pants or whatever stiff in that spot, even scratchy. All right, red down the middle. Green. Whoops. We'll be putting green there anyhow, so I won't worry about it. But let's go ahead and do our violet. And green again. There we go. Torch again. I probably don't need a torch at that stage, but Good habit, so we'll keep doing it. They're slightly slanted. There we go. Let's spin that out. Beautiful. Let me get it over to the drying rack. Our next one. I think I got that one dead center. I 
probably did too much, but that's all right. I think we got everything covered, so we're good. All right, get the clumps off. Trying not to scorch. Let's go ahead and move it over. The last one. All right, I think everything else got covered. And for those who may ask uh, or wonder how long you can keep your paints mixed up and everything, this red, pearl red, is from three weeks ago. And it's been in this cup and then just saran wrap over top of it uh, real good. So uh, the, the colors, your paints, will last a while if you seal them good.
the problem becomes labeling, especially in these type of things, and when they all look the same. <laughs> so, I might have to do a surprise canvas one day. Maybe a galaxy pour with, with the leftovers. I didn't quite do that one right, did I? All right. Oh, these are really crooked, aren't they? There we go. Look how beautiful. It's going to be even more beautiful. <laughs> We'll see if that dries well. Let me spin it out just a little bit. Smooth out what I messed up. All right, we'll let that dry. Let me torch it. <laughs> Let's bring you guys in for a closer look. Now you'll see the colors a little bit better with the, the light on them, but they'll really show up well once it dries. I can't wait to see it dry. There's the second one. And the first one. Here's a dry picture. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.